Welcome to the Writer's Anointing Show. I'm Dr. Jewel Williams, your host, and this month we're dealing with the storyteller, the life of the storyteller. Today's episode is called Just the Facts, Ma'am, Just the Facts. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to today's episode, and again, it's just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. So, I'm Dr. Jewel Williams, owner of Tri Production Publishing, and today's tip, we are going to be talking again about the storyteller. I'm going to date myself, surely, I know here, but I don't know if you remember this show called Dragnet, where this police would be ready, I mean, people would be ready to tell the police officer all of these details, but Joe Friday would say, just the facts, very, um you know, stern about it, just the facts. Well, that's what we have to remember as storytellers, not to go running down the dark hole of unnecessary information. So let me jump into my first tip. My first tip is omit any irrelevant details. Have you ever had someone tell you a story about something in their day, for example? They start off saying, I need to tell you about X. Then they proceed to go to Z. Then they add in how they saw A on the way, or they're adding how they were hungry and decided to go get something to eat. Now we've got D added to this equation. And I personally find it hard to keep up when people are weaving stories like that because I'm trying to hold on to all of that information. I'm trying to hold on because I'm just trying to figure out how did D, Z, A, and all of these other things relate to the X that you started out telling me in the beginning of the story. If you don't want to confuse your readers or have them give up altogether, make sure to only tell what will enhance your readers getting to point X. So don't omit omit any irrelevant detail. Now, my second point is tell the story like you talk. As a storyteller, speaking to an audience, you are encouraged to use your own voice. I think that is a wonderful idea as it relates to being a writer. Don't try to write the way you see someone else write. It won't feel genuine. Write from your vantage. What is important to you will come out in how you tell your story. So remember, this is your voice. Feature it well. My third point is telling the facts doesn't mean it's without emotion. A storyteller wants you to feel, engage, and engage in the story. While we, while we balance giving the important details, This doesn't mean you have to make it without emotions. So a good storyteller gets you to engage emotionally in the story. They don't tell you how to feel. They simply give you the details and express the story in a way that you experience what the characters in the book feel. So today's tip was just the facts. So remember, omit any irrelevant details, but then also tell the story like you talk. Make sure it features your voice. And then telling the facts doesn't mean it's without emotions. You need help writing your book? Not sure where to start? I would love to help you from concept to completion of your project. You can go to my website, publishdivision.com. That's again, publishdivision.com to see what I offer. And until next time, what I always say, write it. Mm-hmm.